Hey, what's going on YouTube? Saddle Tramp here. Here is Columbus, Ohio. Back again. I've got another Yabo. Um, as I know you know from the title, our good buddy Heisenberg 067 The Berg. Mr. Todd Elmore has sent me yet another package. Um, Todd's always really good. Me and Todd have gotten really tight in the past couple months. He's always good about hooking me up. Smoking my new Dotif Reverse Calabash Dagner Poker with some uh, Northwoods. Actually, I think it's about, yeah, it's cooked. Um, so anyway, I'll get that cleaned out here in a second. Not during the video. It'd be rude, wouldn't it? Start off here with the bro note. Thanks for the birthday gift. The Dagner Custom Shank Cobb and the Dagner Beanie just blew me away. Well, you're very welcome, buddy. Oh, no. There we go. Um, yeah, I know. I made a video. Um, Todd had actually asked me when I told him um, I had two of those diamond shank cobs on the way. Uh, he asked me if there's any way I, he could trade or buy one from me. And uh, when he asked me, I just kind of changed the subject. I could, like I didn't really hear him and just kept going talking about something else. And then um, I made a video... And I was like, uh, some of you may have seen it. And I was like, well, and no, nobody asked me for this thing because uh, I'm not selling it. I already told somebody else I was going to give it to them. And in the, I think it was in the video. I was like, and the person that's getting this pipe, I really want them to have it because they're a really good friend of mine. And uh, it was going to Todd all along. That's I was, why I was getting two of them was because one of them was going to him. Um, so, and I completely fooled him and he had no idea that uh, that was going to him so uh, uh nick you've been a great friend to me enjoy all of our talks on voxer thanks for being there when i need an ear thank you for being there when i need an ear um todd's there for me just as much as um i'm there to talk to him so um, i wanted to send you this pipe and tobacco samples to enjoy as a token of great friendship merry christmas and happy new year to you and many blessings to the family Berg thank you man it's a very nice note um, <clears throat> Todd I really appreciate your friendship too buddy that's why I uh, wanted to surprise you with that diamond shank Cobb because um, as I'm sure most of you know Todd loves uh, Dagner and OMS pipes and um, those diamond shank Cobbs were very limited and uh, I was lucky to get my hands on two of them um, I'm sure it's because um, I was planning on gifting one of them. The, the pipe and tobacco god saw fit that I should uh, get two of them. So anyway, uh, first let's go ahead and check this pipe out. Todd uh, sent me a pipe. It is a uh, devil ants. And I can't remember who he said made this. But look onto it. Just, just look on to it there, Todd. Look on to it. That is a really good looking pipe. I like that stem. Very nice. Another good looking pipe. And I can kind of talk with it in my mouth. I'm not very good at uh, talking with a pipe in my mouth. Um, I've never seen, ooh, I've never seen rustication like that. And this is very, very lightly smoked. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't have a Devil Ants, and uh, Todd wanted me to have that. So thank you very much, Todd. Um, that Actually, may as well leave it out because my, uh, my Dotif pipe I just finished up smoking. So let's see what we got in here. Okay. Look at this. The dude, the dude's all heart, man. He really, really is. Let's see what all we got here. Stonehaven. Very nice. Um, he sent me some before, a couple flakes of it, and uh, I, I kind of wanted to try it again, so he threw some on there. 2005, and so to bed. 
some uh, some 12 year old and soda bed also esoterica Pembroke more esoterica I've never had Pembroke before never had it never have smells good give that a try here later on after I get up from my my, my sleepy time oh yes some more Penzance. Thank you, brother. I was out. Um, I've got one of these uh, little jars. I got one of these full of Penzance, and that's in my cellar, and that's not getting touched for a couple of years. So, um, Oh, and real quick, I had one bowl of Penzance left um, down in my, my daily smoke box and um, one bowl of Quiet Nights. Uh, to me personally, they don't taste like anything alike. They have similar components, and they're a similar blend. They're very dark in their flake form and all this, but really, they, they don't taste that much alike to me. You know, I don't consider that a, a Penzance substitute. I know a good bit of people do, um, but Penzance is Penzance, you know? And uh, so I took that last bowl of Penzance and that last bowl of Quiet Nights and mixed them together. 50 50 and smoke that that's actually pretty good um if you've got some quiet nights and some penzance try it out just a little pinch of each just enough to pack up a bowl uh, it was pretty damn good what else we got here sleepy hollow yes i've been wanting to try sweet sleepy hollow for a while mmm Smells like, um, kind of smells like one of those pumpkin rolls with the cream in the middle. That smells pretty damn good. I'm going to have to try that. Shit. 2005 early morning pipe. Some more vintage tobacco. Thank you, Todd. Peace Haven. I've never seen Peace Haven before. Mmm. Just look on to that. Look at all them brights. Very nice. See, I'm not a huge... I like the flavor of Virginia's, but they burn my tongue up so bad I don't really smoke them. But I've definitely been wanting to try some of that. Ooh, nice. Ye old sign. Another one. I've been wanting to try this. Me and Todd are actually, we're pretty good about uh, sending each other tobaccos that the other hasn't tried yet. Um, which is pretty cool. Dunhill Flake. I think he said this was the Dark Flake. Um, we're pretty good, like I say. We, we usually end up sending each other stuff that uh, we've never had before and we end up just absolutely loving. Hmm. Smells pretty good. So, um, and I haven't done a whole lot of Virginias. So Todd has really got me hooked up. I got one, two, uh, three, four so far. I got four um, Virginia blends. Ooh, Balkan Sobrani. Been wanting to try this too. Uh, I've had Stonehaven, and I don't really remember. Uh, I only had like two bowls of it. I don't really remember what it was like that well. Um, so I got some more of that to, to try and get a feel for it. The Dunhill Flake, some Yield Sign. Um, I've had regular, uh, not regular, but um, fresh early morning pipe. It's not bad. Um, I liked it a lot when I very first started smoking. It was one of the, I bought like four uh, one ounce samples of these different tobaccos at this shop up in Wisconsin when I first started getting into pipe. And early morning pipe was one of them. And um, I liked it then, didn't smoke it for like six months, tried it again. I didn't love it. Uh, so I've got like four or five ounces in my cellar 
well, for me, I guess it'd be the attic, but you know, um, that I'm just going to let sit. Cause Todd said this, uh, this 12 year old, um, early morning pipe is really good. So, uh, let's try it out. And, uh, that way, you know, I'll know what I got going on up there in like 10 years. Um, I might be opening up a jar of gold. So Todd, thank you again, man. I mean, that's, that's so awesome. Look at all that. I got that haul from Micah a couple weeks ago and I got this, um, mom bought me uh, hearth and homes, uh, Fusilier's ration, uh, which I actually, I love Bengal slices. I actually like the ration just a little bit better. And uh, Magnum Opus. Magnum Opus is fantastic. See, I, I didn't, some tobaccos, I try them at first and I love them. And then later on, they just kind of, I don't care for them anymore. And then some tobaccos are kind of like, eh, it's okay. And the more I smoke it, the more I like it. Or if I leave it sit for a while and come back, um, you know. Yeah, Micah, um, those blends that you sent me, brother, uh, I really like them. I like the Maduro the best, but they're all three really good. He sent me Dominican Glory, Dominican Glory Maduro, and um, Royal Cajun. And uh, I smoke a bowl of them here and there. And... Uh, they're really good. I wasn't fully expecting to like them because I had a bad experience smoking uh, cigar tobacco out of a pipe, but it was straight cigar tobacco. Um, those blends are actually very, like he said, they're very earthy, uh, creamy, smooth. Got some kick to them too. Um, another thing I wanted to mention real quick. Um, I ordered this a while back. Well, not a while back, a month or two ago. Um, the Trip Odell pipe bag, uh, canvas pipe bag from Dagner Pipes, and I've used it a few times, and this is the newer version that has uh, two pockets in it. Um, I've got the chance to use this a couple times, and um, if you guys have any interest in a pipe bag, I actually really, I would really recommend this. It's just a simple, um, it's very thick, very soft canvas. Um, very nice, thick, good-feeling leather, and um, they're pretty inexpensive. I think it was like 15 bucks, 12, 15 bucks, something like that, and um, it works fantastic. I'll put a couple pipes and, uh, you know, tamper, lighter, stuff on one side, put a couple bags of tobacco in the other, and it's, it's really good. I highly recommend this as well. I'm going to get off here, guys. I've been up all night. I'm exhausted. Um, Todd, thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I've got some stuff that I need to get out to you. I'm going to try to do it today after I get up. Um, if not, I'll probably do it in the morning. So um, if you can take it easy, take it twice. Thank you so much for watching. Um, check out Heisenberg 067 Berg. If you do not already... Uh, if you have not already subscribed to his channel, go do so. The guy's got really good videos. Um, they're really fun to watch. You know, I, I know I get on here and just kind of talk and ramble and shit. Um, his, his videos are actually very entertaining. So um, we'll see you guys around. And I hope everyone had a great holiday. Happy New Year. Um, I know I did. So uh, we'll catch you guys around. I'm going to try to start making some more videos. 2017 is going to be the, the year of the videos, so we'll catch y'all around. Later, guys.